Hey there everyone, Mike Wood here with Wild Utah Edibles. I wanted to show you a little plant that I just discovered growing uh, here near work. And it's interesting, sometimes where you can find um, our edible and medicinal plants. So, let's take a look. So this is the shop where I work, uh, just off the freeway in Orem. The freeway's like just right over there. In fact, over that tree, you can see one of the lights of the freeway. And I love how wild it's gotten. You can see a, a uh, Russian olive there. Uh, it's got uh, some old or orchard trees out back. It's got ground cherries here, rose bush, lots and lots of fun stuff. But the one that I wanted to show you today, while I was sitting here waiting for my ride home, I sat down and took a look at this interesting little plant, which I have already trimmed to harvest a bunch. But this is henbit or henbit dead nettle. And this is a very nutritious and beneficial little plant. And here I've got a whole bunch of them growing nice and young. And there's a close up of one of them there. Brand new little seedlings growing. So good for uh, diarrhea and digestive issues um, both so very interesting little plant and i just wanted to show you so get out there and explore and and learn what's just right around you sometimes you don't have to go far to find some really cool stuff i will share some information now that i found online with more details about this plant so that you have that to look at. Be sure and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So here, if we do a search on Google, just using my iPhone here, we can see the first result is from foragefoodie.blogspot.com, which sounds like a pretty good resource uh, um, to me. We're not looking at uh, a naysayer. We're looking at somebody who is a forager. So I like that. And I often like to drink after I've eaten some herbs, so I can get them down my throat. <laughs> so that looks like a good uh, uh, result. And I, I think I, I mismentioned something there. I, I said that it was good for diarrhea. Um, I think it's more the opposite. It's good for constipation. Um, might cause diarrhea. Uh, it, it's used as a laxative, as you can see at the end of that uh, um, section right there. So that's one that we can go in. Whoops, that's one we can go in and look at. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see the Hillsboro-homesteading.com talking about the difference between henbit and purple dead nettle. Um, Wild edible Wednesday henbit dead nettle. So this is uh, let's see, sar sarcraft.squarespace.com, um, msu.edu eattheplanet.org, um, ediblewildfood.com, eattheweeds.com. So obviously we've got a good one here that is an edible plant. Now, the next thing I want to do is go in here and look for the Latin name of this uh, plant which, where did I see it? At the beginning of this, maybe? Um, right there. So we're gonna copy that. And what I'm going to do is go back to my search page. And I'm gonna change this search Uh, 
Come on. Maybe. All right. Um, we'll put this in and then uses. And run the search. So there we're going to get different stuff. Oh, and look at that. ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. What do they have to say? So let's go check that out and find out. It was interesting to see a government website talking about an actual study on an herb that has benefits. And it was huge. This is a very long article. Lots of information, uh, and it's incredible to see so much favorable details about this plant. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And then it gets into the references, which the references are in the hundreds, I believe. Um, let's see. We can scroll down to the bottom. 151 references. So this is huge. This is this is really cool to see something like this. And it's not all on the uh, the exact plant. Um, they're doing lamium plants. So not just the um, not just the one that that I'm showing in this video, but the Lamium family of plants. But they do have this specific um, plant mentioned here. If we go and do a search here. This is days later, so I can't even remember the, uh, whoops, can't remember the scientific name. <laughs> of uh, of this but anyway it was it was in there quite a few times uh with specifics so really a cool one to to see um whoops i think i think that's the one right there the amplexicale right so traditional Japanese rice porridge, uh, um, seven spring herbs, um, biological activities, uh, in vitro studies, antioxidant studies. I mean, just, it's actually very incredible. So what I'm going to do is I will link this study in this video because I think, personally, this is a plant that everybody needs to be growing and using. Um, and you'll probably think that too once you see the details of, of what they show here about this plant and what it can do for you. So, thanks guys for coming around for this one. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe give a thumbs up and share the video to somebody who might benefit from this, especially after you go through and read this article that I'm going to, to link and see how much good can be done from this plant. It's, it's one that we all want to have. It's incredible what it can do. Antiviral activity, antimicrobial activity. Usually when something is antiviral, it's antimicrobial. Anti-inflammatory so, I mean, this is, this is incredible. There's a lot of um, potential benefits from this plant. Like and subscribe. Thanks for coming around. See you again soon. Thanks for watching this short little wild edibles video. If you appreciate the information that I'm putting out here, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who is in need.